Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alex. It's nice to meet you. This isn't my typical video, but I think it's something that's really important. I'm currently taking medications to help my mental health. I'm on antidepressants. And I've been on a couple. I've gone on a journey to be on the meds I'm on right now, but I've decided that I no longer want to be on them anymore. I totally support medication for other people, and if that's what you want to do, do it. Like, it really helps people. But for me right now, I don't want that anymore. So today is kind of the beginning of that journey. I have a doctor's appointment. It's a virtual phone call in five minutes. And I'm gonna be talking to my doctor about getting off my antidepressants. I called her like two weeks ago with the same intent. And by the end of the call, she ended up doubling my prescription. And I was like, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> and I was like, how did I let that happen? So this time, I'm gonna be adamant. I'm like, this is the plan. Hello. I know it's different from the last call we had, but I was thinking and I, yeah, I no longer want to be on them anymore. Wow, that was so quick. So I told her that I didn't want to be on them anymore and that I didn't want to switch to something else. She asked if I still wanted to be on my sleeping medications and I said yes because I don't want to drop everything at once, like we'll deal with that later. She just told me to take one pill for seven days and then totally go off of them. That terrifies me. I feel like seven days is a very short period of time. She said the dose I'm on right now isn't a lot so it shouldn't be a problem. Like I asked would there be evident withdrawal and she said no because I'm not on much right now. Obviously she's a doctor from what I've heard and from what I've read that will not be the case but we'll see. That's the update for right now. I'll keep you guys in the loop with how I'm feeling with everything. Yesterday, I was feeling really, really emotional and just like on edge, like I was about to cry all day. My dad seemed like a bit not in the best mood and he told me to do something and then I just left the room and went to my bedroom and started bawling my eyes out and crying. Which, t normally I'm not that emotional. Like he didn't yell at me or anything like that. It was just really, I was just feeling so upset and couldn't keep it together. Like I was explaining to my stepmom why I was upset and I just kept crying, like I couldn't even talk. So that happened, which was really odd. And today I'm feeling very shaky. Like I'm sitting here trying to finish my essay and I'm just like, like I feel out of my body and just like not myself. It's really hard to describe. It just feels weird and I know that's not very, doesn't really tell you guys how I'm feeling, but I just feel shaky. That's how I can describe it. I just feel really shaky. Like my jaw and my whole body, I'm just like sitting here, but I'm like, Ugh. it's really odd and uncomfortable. Since I'm already feeling weird withdrawals, I'm just gonna finish up this paper and then I wanna go downstairs and eat so that I can take my pill. I have to take my pills every day, but I need food in my tummy first. On the bottom here, it literally says, don't stop treatment of these without medical supervision. I'm obviously just in bed right now. I was on YouTube looking at people's experience on Effexor, which is the antidepressant I'm on right now that I'm getting off of, <laughs> fingers crossed. And I was looking at people's withdrawal experience and their experience getting off of Effexor. There's a couple from like doctors and physicians who basically list off the same list of possible withdrawals but it's like which ones are you gonna get so i'm watching a couple of dudes who actually got off of xor these are super old videos one was 2014 this one's more recent that i'm watching right now i'm gonna show you guys some clips of what he's saying and his experience it doesn't sound good essentially my brain exploded i just became a crazed idiot i'm coming to the end of taking one pill a day then i'll be totally off of them which is very exciting, honestly. I'm really excited for that. Um, but also scared, very scared. Last night, like you guys saw, I was researching and looking at other people's experiences, withdrawals, and coming off of the pills I'm on, Effexor. I'm really fortunate to not be having crazy side effects like some of the people were explaining. I was hearing about scary nightmares, which is terrifying. I don't really remember any of my dreams, so I'm glad that I'm not having nightmares or horrible paranoia like some other people are. Obviously, I'm still on the medication, so we'll see if anything changes once I'm actually off of them and I'm not taking any pills. I'm taking my pill today a little bit later than I normally have been. Usually, it's been like around noon or one. Right now, it's 
almost five it was because i just like hadn't eaten yet so i didn't have food and with these like i've mentioned i have to take them with food or else you kind of like get nauseous and dizzy and it's it's too hard on your stomach basically today i haven't been feeling very good like just like an overall sluggishness and very non-productive and i i don't really have like a clear mind i'm like what what am i supposed to be doing like just very like my mind is scattered basically and unmotivated i was starting to feel really dizzy and like ooh, like i've explained earlier i'm not sure if that was because i'm taking my pill later than usual or because the lack of food in my system and you know i hadn't eaten for a while i'm also feeling my brain zaps which i haven't really felt Recently, like I've only been feeling the ooh, it must be because I've been taking it in the morning and now I'm taking it nighttime. If you don't know what brain zaps are, I guess it sounds kind of like odd. It basically feels like electric shocks like in your head just out of nowhere. Um, and like I was saying, it's also like just through my body. I'll just be sitting there and I'll stand and I'm like, Z -Z -Z. it's just very very uncomfortable and i'm like oh my god like i need to take my pill like when is this gonna kick in i ordered myself some food just in case that's the reason i was feeling lightheaded and dizzy after i had my bath i was gonna go and shower but i was feeling like really lightheaded and not good like sometimes when i have the zaps like i need to sit down because when i'm standing it's just like too much like i feel unstable and dizzy so i like took a chill before taking a shower because i was genuinely worried that I wouldn't be able to stand up straight in the shower. Now I'm out of the shower. I got some sushi, I got some food, just in case the reason I was feeling weird was because I hadn't eaten enough. Tonight, I've been feeling a ton of things. While I was taking my bath, I was really, really emotional. Like, I was tearing up, just like laying there by myself in silence. Like, I've just been feeling really emotional. Like, I'm constantly gonna have like an outbreak and cry. Um, and I have, no motivation to do my schoolwork and it's not me being like i'm i'm just procrastinating which i do procrastinate but when i procrastinate i'll usually do like the stuff the night before um it is 9 30 and i have an essay due at 11 50 tonight a final paper that's seven pages and i haven't started and I'm not going to. Like, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to bed after I film this clip. Because I just, like, I can't get myself to do it. And I kind of just, like, well, like, I don't really feel anything. I feel, like, a little bit numb, honestly, while also emotional. So, that's kind of weird. I've cried three times already this morning. It's December 12th. It's 10.45. This morning I'm feeling, like, really not good. I just want to stay in bed all day. Last night, my final paper for a class was due, and I didn't start it. I just, like, couldn't do it, and today I'm like, ugh, like, I don't even care. I, I just can't do work. Some of my family was like, just go do your paper. I got so upset. I got so emotional, and I came up here and was, like, tearing up and feeling like I was going to have a breakdown, bawling my eyes out. I feel like I don't care, like, about my school stuff. I'm like, I'm just, like, not going to do this essay, like... It's causing me too much stress like I I don't want to do it, but then I'm also just like so emotional. So It's been interesting I'm only taking these pills for two more days and then I'll be off of them So my doctor obviously like you guys know told me to just be on half of my dose one pill for seven days the week that I was supposed to be totally off medication was actually my university finals week and I just didn't think it would be a good idea to be going through potentially crazy withdrawals while I had, you know, essays due that were worth 40% of my grade and I, in my mind I didn't think it would hurt to be on the medication for a bit longer. In the end, I was at half my dose, 37.5 milligrams, for a total of just over two weeks. I went totally off the medications on December 23rd, right before Christmas time. Let's just say it was a roller coaster. Truly, I went through so many emotions. I had originally planned to go off the medications during my Christmas break because, you know, I wouldn't be doing schoolwork and I could have the time to just like lay in bed and chill and be upset if I need to be upset. But I didn't really take into account that 
Christmas time was when I'd be spending the most time with my family. In order for this video not to be, you know, 25 minutes long, because I know the vlogs have made it quite long, I'm gonna do a part two where I talk about the withdrawal experiences I had when I was totally off the medication. This is obviously my journey going off, and I'm gonna sit down and talk about what I actually went through when I was totally off the meds, how long it lasted, how I'm feeling now, is there any residual things? So stay tuned for that video. Thank you so much if you watch this journey and all the vlogs throughout this time. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video.